I'm here with Karina. What do you do here at Khan Academy? I'm Khan Academy's office manager. So that means I do a little bit of everything in the office. <clears throat> I keep everybody happy. I keep our office stocked and filled with food and snacks and our technology working and I help our new hires and I help people in need and basically anything and everything that comes up during the day somehow ends up on my desk. So it's a little sprinkle of, of everything here. A little, if you weren't here, we would just fall apart. Yes, basically, <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that, that's the short version. <laughs> that's the, and what, what's, what's like your day-to-day? -day? What, what's a typical day like? Or is there a typical day? There is usually not a typical day. Most of the time I am, I mean, I come in and I do kind of my first round of checking the office, make sure that nobody's burned anything down or caused <laughs> massive destruction. Some <clears throat> of that's happened. Some of that has happened. I have walked into <laughs> five, uh, five million speckles of rice on a brand new table, yes. so that was really exciting. Yes. Yeah. One of our team members, <coughs> Kyle. Yes, who's very enthusiastic. Wanted about to visualize projects. what five million is. Yes, yes. He's also burned a gummy bear on a table outside, causing some anxiety to, to people passing by. Yes. So <laughs> I like to make sure nothing major has happened. <laughs> at least it was <laughs> rice, and at least it was just a gummy bear. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we don't continue to escalate. <laughs> um, but then I, I kind of get to it. You know, people normally send me lots of questions and inquiries over the night, you know, things that they've come across, and I have a giant list of to-dos that things are constantly getting added to, and with our big company meetings, there's always something to plan and prepare and get ready. And it's literally everything. I mean, people might imagine office manager keep the office functioning, which you do yes. very well, uh, but it's also things like our, our weekly update with the company, you plan a lot of events for our team, yeah. it's, a, it's a whole bunch of things. Exactly, yeah. So I'm, you know, helping run the AV for our company update, our weekly dev stand-up, our weekly um, dev speak now series, any team Dev events. stands for developer. Yes, yes. yes. We just shorten that because that, that's my term of endearment for the devs. It takes a lot of time to say developer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a lot of things to do. <laughs> Everyone has a nickname here. So yeah, I mean, basically any big event that's happening at Khan Academy, I somehow have a little hand in. And what were you doing before this? Before this, I was doing operations for a startup in San Francisco called Trade Shift, and very similar role, you know, helping manage their offices here in San Francisco, and we had an office in London and Copenhagen, and we were expanding, so I got to uh, test the waters of how office culture works across the globe, which was really exciting. And what was your, you know, what was, how did you hear about Khan Academy? Why did you want to be part of this? I heard about Khan Academy because I was looking for something closer to home, and I was very excited to find Where's out. Home? home is San Jose, oh, yeah. uh, and so I was working in San Francisco, which is very far from home. So I was excited to find out Khan Academy was local, was close to me. I had no idea that you guys were in this area, and I wanted a job that was personally fulfilling. I was a sociology major in college, and I care a lot about that what the job I'm doing makes an impact on the world in some way and same with the company I'm working for that I'm not just you know punching in punching out and helping put a big check in someone else's pocket that you know I'm really helping create an impact and that's really what drove me here and I was very very excited when I got the response from Kayla that I could come in for an interview and I knew as soon as I could come in I was like I'm gonna nail this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're very glad you did. <laughs> yeah. And and what and what advice would you have for someone who wants to be an office manager? To kind of follow in your footsteps. You know, I, I think you have to be very open in the tech industry in offices. This isn't a traditional office where you come in and you're just filing papers and stocking pencils. I mean, your job includes so many random and crazy things. I mean, we had an instance where we were celebrating a big launch and we needed a hundred party poppers, like right away in 20 minutes. So <laughs> it's something you have to be willing to kind of be on your feet, think fast, be dynamic, and also be very agile, be willing to do many different things, interact with different groups, and just keep your mind open because that's how you're gonna grow and move farther in your career. Well, thank you so much, Karina. We're, we're so glad you're here. Thanks, Sal, me too.